Hi, this is Amanda from Rising for Craftinate, and welcome to Lavinia World. Today we're going to be making a Christmas card. I hope it's not too early for some of you. I know it's only October, but I vow every year to get my Christmas cards done early, and guess what? I never do it, so this year it looks like I'm actually going to start early. So I decided to start with the Christmas Words stamp from Lavinia Stamps and I'm using one of the Fairy Hugs pre-printed background stamp or background <laughs> uh, papers not background stamps background papers and they come printed in six by six inches and I've cut mine down to um, four by five and a quarter and I'm using uh, one of my old Stampin' Up! ink pads in Baroque Burgundy now I first thought that I would do a second generation stamp and that's why you saw me stamp it off on that typing paper but I decided that it was too light on the red part so I went ahead and did a full stamping and now I'm using um, the Christmas Eve stamp and the Christmas Night stamp from Lavinia Stamps and I'm going to heat emboss this with a VersaFine Nocturne ink and use some clear embossing powder over the top of that. So that's what I'm doing here. And that's why you have you see me um, have my background paper taped in my uh, stamp platform, which usually I would just do, use the magnets. But because that, um, I believe that is the Christmas night, the Santa with the sleigh, um, is so wide compared to my background um, paper, the extra photopolymer was kind of wide. I needed to... Um, tape my background in there instead of using the magnets because the the extra photopolymer was hanging off the sides a little bit so that's why I use the post-it note tape to tape my background down instead of using the magnets so now I'm just gonna take some aged mahogany and distress ink and just go around the edges a little bit and just darken it up a little bit I was almost tempted to use some black soot because I really do like a um, kind of a a moody look around the edges of my backgrounds but this is Christmas and it's supposed to be kind of cheery and happy so I I decided not to use the just uh, the black soot and I instead chose the aged mahogany just to give it a little bit darker around the edges so I'm gonna take the spirit of Christmas stamp also from Lavinia stamps I'm gonna stamp that in some VersaFine Claire as well and we're not gonna heat emboss this one we're just gonna let that dry and I'm stamping this on a uh, some Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound cardstock. And it's just a scrap that I have from my scrap bin. So we're just going to let that dry for a little bit because it is a pigment ink and it needs to dry before I move on to my next step on that one. And so I do have some Paper Studio, I believe this was called Gifts of Gold um, paper pad. Let me look here. Yes, it was called Gifts of Gold with foil. And uh, I got this, I want to say last year, maybe the year before, I don't know. So it may not still be available. Um, but I cut that to four and a quarter by five and a half, the same as an A2 card base. And I'm just going to mount my um, my panel on that. I thought the gold little um, like streamer look, <laughs> whatever you want to call those, the little, the little swirls, hanging out the side was kind of pretty. So I'm just going to mount that directly onto my, my card base here. And then we are going to move on to the inside sentiment, I believe. Um, let me see here. Yes, we are. So I did have some extra little um, scrap pieces from both the Fairy Hugs background and that, um, that Gifts of Gold paper. And a lot of times, um, instead of just throwing those in the scrap bin, and I oftentimes don't use them when I throw them in the scrap bin, I, I like to put them on the inside of my cards. And I'm not sure if I've done that here on the Lavinia channel, um, but I know that if you're watching on my channel, you have seen me do this many times. So, um, yeah, it's just something that I like to bring a little bit of um, interest to the inside of my cards. It brings a little color, and it also brings the front of your card to the inside and, and you know, just kind of makes things matchy-matchy. <laughs> so I did off-camera take that, um, that Spirit of Christmas stamps, and I cut it into strips 
and you know that there was three lines to that, but I cut, um, I cut them into three strips and then I cut each line apart a little bit <laughs> to make it fit to the inside because I did use those, those kind of wide strips on the inside, um, from the pattern paper. So now I'm going to take some DIY shimmer spray that I make with Perfect Pearls and water. And I did try to spritz the front of that, but my bottle got clogged, so it didn't really spritz very well. But we'll come back to that later. So I'm going to take some um, snowflakes from the Lavinia stamps, and I'm going to stamp these in Versamark on the front of my card. And I'm only going to show you just this one stamping, but I did stamp them another time. So I've got three, well, there's a grouping of three snowflakes and then there's two individual snowflakes. I did stamp it this one time and then I moved all those around and I stamped them again. So we're just going to stamp that in Versamark, like I said, and then we're going to heat emboss that with Ranger Holographic Embossing Powder, which is like my favorite embossing powder um, well, specialty embossing powder to use, and it's especially my favorite during Christmas time. I just love the shine on this embossing powder. Um, another good product to use uh, would be the Fairy Hugs Glitter, if you want to do that, but uh, you could maybe mix that with some clear embossing powder. That might work. Uh, I didn't think to do that at the time, <laughs> and I've never mixed glitter with embossing powder, but I'm pretty sure that you could probably do that. Anyway, so I'm going to move on and stamp the Have a Fairy Merry Christmas stamp um, on a, another piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White 80 pound. And we're going to cut this out with an MFT slanted sentiment strip die, which is, well, I would say it's my favorite sentiment strip dies to use, but they're the only sentiment strip dies I have. <laughs> I've got some banner ones that I use sometimes, but um, they don't fit a lot of my sentiments, so I don't use them very often. So, and so it's not stark white on the, my um, card. I am going to take some of the aged mahogany that I used earlier, and I'm just going to go around the edges a little bit and uh, distress it a little bit, make it match the card a little bit better. Because I didn't have a whole lot of white on my card except for that, um, that paper studio pad that I mounted the card panel on. Um, so I just wanted to just distress it a little bit here. So I'm going to take some foam tape and pop that sentiment up uh, just to give it a little bit of a dimension. And we're just going to do that. And I am going to use a T-square ruler to make sure things are straight. I've been having a horrible time eyeballing things lately. I don't know if it's my eyes getting older or what. Um, I don't see that well anyway. I do have to wear glasses, um, but I don't wear them to craft and I probably should. <laughs> I just have a restriction on my license, so I uh, I wear them to drive and uh, a few other things, but for the most part, I, I don't like to wear them if I don't absolutely have to, and <laughs> I've been trying to avoid wearing them while crafting. <laughs> um, so anyway, I got that on there, and now I'm going to do the shimmer spray. As you can see, I have it in a different bottle now. I gave up on the, uh, the Ranger Mini Mister. May it rest in peace. <laughs> so we're going to... Um, just uh, look at this now. Anyway, <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. So there is the finished card. You can see those holographic snowflakes. You can see a little bit of the shimmer powder uh, spray that I used. And there's my sentiment and the strips on the inside. And that's going to finish up the card for today. I hope that you enjoyed it. Don't forget that the supply list is listed in the description box below, along with links to the Lavinia World store, the Lavinia World Facebook group, and... and the Lavinia World uh, YouTube channel if you're watching this on my channel. If you're watching this on the Lavinia World channel, uh, my social media links will be in the description box below. Have a great day.